Love 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 it. I'll be honest. I thought I was going to get an opened box from the seller. Yet it was all brand new and box was never open. Item was easy to set up along with paddle sync. Very excited for this system and can't wait to get more games and such. The $281.11 Xbox One is well worth the price and even more amazing I got $70 or so as stores in my area retail them for $350. I finally received my Xbox One and I love it. The interface isn't as user friendly as the 360 but since I am a quick learner I have not had too much trouble. The Xbox console itself is quite large and boxy but I like the design. The X1 controller looks better and feels better than the 360 version. The joysticks and D-pad are a 100x better. The included microphone is nice and sound quality is better. It looks a lot like the original. If you're going to pick up an Xbox One might as well pick this one up since it has two Assassin's Creed games. Unless you hate the AC franchise. As always Microsoft has done a great job with the Xbox brand. Particularly by updating their dashboard to keep it fresh and user friendly. I highly recommend this box zone. Sold the two Assassin's Creed games. So I'm into this for what a nice Xbox 360 would cost not much to say past that. The Xbox One is a solid platform. You won't notice the resolution difference between this and the PS4 unless you sat them next to each other, but Xbox Live has been much more reliable for me. I know because I owned the PS4 as well and I came back to the Xbox One originally had the Xbox One with the Kinect but I don't miss the extra sensor. It was an eyesore and my young son would bat it around I'm happy saving the cash on the sensor and being able to sell two games I had zero interest in playing. Overall quite satisfied.